the Super Bowl is about to start in like 45 minutes. And my wife and I have decided to go to the grocery store. What is she doing? We're at the gas station. She's like bumbling around back there. I don't know what she's doing. But this is the best time to go to the grocery store. Nobody's going to be there because they're all watching the football. I used to be a big football fan, but I hate it now. It's stupid. Look at all of the Valentine's Day stuff. So empty. Look at this anarchy right here. Good God. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Too many things. Here we go. on that foam. Ew. Does anyone want to take a guess at where I'm heading to first thing Monday morning at 8.15, the day after the Super Bowl, which I did not watch. I did catch glimpses of the SpongeBob Nickelodeon Super Bowl uh, thing that they did in, on Twitter, and it was, it was pretty funny. I do kind of regret not watching that now, but take a guess at where I'm going this morning on this beautiful, beautiful Monday morning, cloudy, Monday morning. Why does this keep happening to me? Where's the entrance? This is, okay, go through here. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I come to talk with you again. Because... How are they? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, crazy. Not too much you can do with them right now. Yeah. Looks interesting. <laughs> I feel like I've gone to uh, the service center repair shop more times with this car than some of my other cars. And the whole point I got this car was I didn't want to have to go to the shop all the time. Because like, oh, this car is so self-sufficient and all this stuff. But I feel like there's always weird problems with it. I got a trunk that opens and closes randomly. It's not reliable. Now the mobile charger is giving me some trouble, which that ain't good. That's how I put the energy and juice into the car. I need that charger to work or the car don't go. Another thing that always annoys me is I always sound like a bumbling idiot. Every time I talk to these like service repair people or, you know, any type of car technician. I sound like I have no idea what I'm talking about. And I like bumble over my words. I'm like, well, it, it, I try to like explain things. I sound like a freaking idiot every time. 
So that's not good. I don't think any of these problems got fixed. I think I just wasted about two hours there, just sitting in the service center, staring at that guy that had the Apple Pro Vision, which was pretty cool to look at. Like, no, your mobile charger's fine. It's not covered under warranty, but it might be. Some of the parts might be. I was so confused by it. They're like, well, the cord isn't covered under warranty, but the actual, like, connector that goes into the wall, that is. I don't understand how the car works. I don't understand how any car works. So long story short, I've got a trunk with a mind of its own and a mobile charger that doesn't consistently work. So, a typical Kenny Monday is what I'm kind of getting at here. Why are you doing this? <laughs> Only on the lap. Hey, hey! What are you plotting? What are you thinking about? What are you trying to do? No, I don't want you touching the camera. What do you two want, huh? What do you want from me? You always want something. You can't even just sit here on the ground in peace without being nagged. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. Oops. Please, please, please. Is it dinner time? Is that what you're telling me? You want dinner? Dinner? Okay. Dinner time. Dinner time, dinner time, dinner time, dinner time, dinner time. Dinner time. Dinner time. It's a mess down here all the time with these maniacs. Okay, all right, okay, all right. It's coming. Hey, over here. Hey, hey, your dinner's right here. I gotta separate them, because one will just eat both the bowls. And you can pretty much guess who it is. Hello. Welcome to Sweeping Adventures with Kenny. All he does in his basement is sweep up the Timothy and the hay from the rabbits. Because it's just a non-stop battle of sweeping and cleaning. And then when you think you're done, you gotta sweep in, you gotta clean some more. The messiest creatures. Basement is just, I don't have a space anymore. It has been claimed by the foster bunnies. Ah, crap. Yep, that's the day. This is the day. Oh, crap. 
crap, 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 crap. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. Why'd I have to wait to the last day to do this? Um, uh, these are the ones that she wants, but this is, this is not a lot here. For $8? this <laughs> oh this stupid holiday every time I forget about it every freaking time Of course, of course. I've got to stay focused. I keep getting distracted here. What am I looking for? Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Keep focus. Keep. Focused. That wasn't a joke. I legit forgot what I was looking for. Oh, I'm screwed. Alright, here's the problem. When we were out shopping during the Super Bowl, Amanda was going to buy some uh, Valentine's Day candy. And I said, no, 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 just wait. I'll try to get it on sale the day after Valentine's Day, you know, because it goes down in price. But it is now Valentine's Day. She got me candy. So now I feel like I got to get her something. And she likes a very specific type of candy that's only available on Valentine's Day. Cause that's how they get you. It's like an extra creamy Hershey heart and then Sour Patch Kids that are hearts, certain flavor. But that Target, all the shelves are cleared out like some post-apocalyptic hoarding frenzy that people are in preparation for. There's nothing. I really regret just not getting that one Hello, darkness, pack of candy that I saw at that Walgreens. So now I feel like I'm going to have to spend the rest of the day hunting and finding uh, candy. Take three. How is this possible? What? Why is what? All right, take four. Son of a... This is ridiculous. All I want is the extra creamy, it's gotta be Hershey's. Really, this whole crisis could have been averted had Amanda not gotten me anything for Valentine's Day. If we'd just gone clean slate, nobody gets anything. But no, she had to uh, get me candy, dark chocolate kisses that I really like. So that's good. She also got me two Valentine's Day cards, one from her, one from the animals. That's usually another tradition. You know, this front-facing camera on the iPhone doesn't look that bad, you know? Maybe Dan was onto something. You just need to be in better lighting, make sure the camera's focused, and have proper sound equipment, and you can almost get something pretty good out of the front-facing camera of the iPhone. But I'm not going to let him win that argument. All right, now onward to the second Walgreens of the day. This is a nightmare. Now we really regret not getting that one I saw at the other, the first Walgreens. All right, this is the third Walgreens I've gone into today. This has got to be it. Or I have to go all the way back to the first one, which... Knowing my luck, that's probably going to end up having to do. Come on, 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 come on. Oh, thank God. And I found the Sour Patch Hearts that she likes, too. Well, both of us like, let's be honest. I eat them just as much as she does, if not more. But, look at that. Yeah, found a little bit more of a deal here. This is 6.4 ounces. These are... 9.2 ounces so more chocolate in the bags than in the box of hearts you can't tell me nothing cupid 
I got them. I got all the candy. That's $30 in candy right there. I beat you. You thought you could beat me today. You don't know Kenny Johnson. I won this round. I won. I found the candy. I went to three Walgreens, Walmart, and a Giant. But I found that candy. I found it.